match number 60 and it's the final game at the iconic Eden Gardens today. And it's between the Kolkata Knight Riders and the Mumbai Indians. The Mumbai Indians are the first team that has been eliminated this season, surprisingly. But the way they have performed, I think they deserved it rather. But the Kolkata Knight Riders sitting at the top of the table, I think they still have a little bit of play because they are looking for the top two spot to come in. If they win today, they might just fancy themselves to play that Phil Salt kind of role of Raman Lugurva is giving him a day before the playoffs. I have Deepu with me. Very important game. Should I say very important or is it an important or is it a normal game for the Kolkata Knight Riders? Uh, it's a very important game for KKR uh, given the fact that they have to qualify in the top two to you know get that advantage of you know getting the two cherries as they say in the IPL. Also, also the fact that uh, Phil Salt might not be there in the in the playoffs, so they need to you know rectify that as well. That what should be their opening combination, even Correct. though what I'm hearing is that he has requested or uh, Correct. To, he has know, requested the England cricket board at least for one more week and you know play out the whatever the matches they'll play. Uh, in the playoffs, so yeah, it just needs to be seen. But yes, this will be the game KKR will be looking upon because next up they play Rajasthan Royals, which won't be easy. So yeah, this will be the potential game which you know KKR will look to seal it. Absolutely. If Phil Salt requests the England cricket board, the England captain might also fancy himself requesting to the England cricket board. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if he requ if the captain is requesting, I mean, then you know the other players will follow suit because uh, Butler is. Butler will request for RR, you know, to stay at least for one more week, and you know, then the other English guys were there. Even though CSK has lost, but they still have a chance. Guys like Moin Ali, they are in the squad uh, for the World Cup as well. So, if you know, if the captain is requesting, then it gives them that uh, security. Okay, that the leader is also trying to request, so we can also do that. Correct. But when it comes to the other countries, is Pat coming the main reason why they are not requesting anybody because he's injured for captain of the team? Uh, I mean, the Australian, I mean, they are they are easygoing uh, people. They they have already decided who will be the captain and, you know, with Pat Cummins, he's everything he's doing is, uh, is you know, touching gold. So, Correct. I mean, he doesn't need to request. And also the fact that they are also very close of, you know, sealing up berth in the playoffs uh, with 14 points, I, I guess. So, yeah, it's 14. So, it's important that, you know, these guys stay on. And Pat Cummins is the one who has got the change in this Hyderabad lineup. We saw Got what it. Hyderabad was languishing in the bottom of the table last season and certainly in the top four next season. They have done this many times and under Australian skipper, it was one hour earlier and now Pat Cummins. So, you know, it's important that he stays till the end of the tournament. Absolutely. So, you have summed it up pretty much well what the other captains, what the other teams need to do apart from India. But well, let's focus back on this game. KKR versus Mumbai Indians at the Eden Gardens. Let's take a look into the road so far in the journey in the IPL for both the teams. <music> Starting with the home side, the Kolkata Knight Riders currently sitting at the top of the tree with 16 points in their bag. They have three games to go. One against the Mumbai Indians today, then they face Gujarat Titans and then at Guwahati they face the Rajasthan Royals. Final home game, the home ground has been okay, but yes, at the end of the day, what ma matters is whether you're over the line or not. They have been over the line. We had a close game against the Sunrise, uh, against Sunrise Hyderabad, against the Royal Challenge Bangalore, even against uh, the Rajasthan Royals. So, what's your take on this one? What should they do? 16 points, three games to go. Can they get into that 20-point mark? Uh yeah, looking at the fact, you know, it's still any team, any team can beat anyone. Uh, even the Mumbai are eliminated. Gujarat, they have won a good game against Chennai, but still, you know, their their fate is not in their hands anymore. And Correct. Uh, with the with the side they are playing, I mean, against KKR, the bowling, you know, might just be a little weak uh, in terms of pace. Attack Spain is fine with Noor and Rashid doing the job, but you know, it's just not getting the, the I'm not getting that confidence that you know GT will be able to you know spring in a surprise. So I feel. It's two. Uh, it's four uh, easy points for them uh, as of now. Even though you know the game is played on the field, it's unpredictable as what what's going to happen. Yeah. Also, fact that uh, Mumbai is a bogey team for KKR, even though they have won at one day. So I feel Correct. according to law of averages, Mumbai might just you know give them one back. But still, the fact that they have just been just just not been able to you know click as a unit. So uh, only that thing is uh, that thing has prevented Mumbai to you know even qualify for the playoffs. They had the best team in the season, but just they have just did not you know, perform to their potential. So I feel it's four easy points for KKR, but you know again cricket is unpredictable. 
absolutely cricket is unpredictable a team like mumbai have nothing to lose they might just come out guns blazing and just bash it over the years but going to their opponents which is the mumbai indians team two games to go they have nothing to lose as i said they face the kolkata night riders and then the lucknow super giants at home to finish the campaign do you think it's time they give a few chances to their youngsters i mean they should because it's mega auction next year uh, you know just find out at least you know give auditions as to whom you are looking at because now the season is done uh, they can also play party poopers to someone like a lucknow super giants who are still uh, trying to find a Correct. spot and also the fact that they are also coming after a heartbreaking loss at hyderabad so you know just you know uh, add some salt into their wounds uh because kkr again you know even if they won, win against kkr it won't uh, affect kkr much because they have to play gt they have to play rr so anyway they are finishing in the top 2 i feel Correct. uh mumbai just can you know play with freedom give uh, give some new guys a chance and you know get get some older ones into uh, you know grant them some break uh, you know whom and I'm most importantly is it just yeah. bumrah yeah i mean just with bumrah is obviously important for the world cup now with the season is done there is no point playing him uh, uh, because it's a big risk even rohit sharma he had a stiff back and he has he, has, he also has that injury uh, history of injuries as well so i feel it's better uh, give guys like naman di and nehar badera you know give, give them give these guys some game, game time and you know just uh, cap off the season okay so if you are in the shoes of hardik pandya what would you do if rohit was the captain he would have taken a decision by himself but you are in the shoes of hardik pandya what do you think will be the uh, decisions will rohit come up and tell him it's time we should give a rest to bumrah to look into the bigger picture or will hardik go to uh, rohit and say i think we should do this because i am the vice captain i think we both need to coordinate what do you think should be the thing because of the resting of uh, just with bumrah if they do i think to i think it's too little too late to you know actually coordinate uh, given the fact that what hardik said in the previous post match presentation he desperately wants to win two games and he knows that surya bumrah rohit are his best guys in terms of experience and in terms of skill set as well so he might just you know uh, force them to play uh, in the last two games just to you know get uh, above on that points above in the points table correct yeah. yeah i even expected so, this no one wants to you know finish on, on the wooden spoon and a team like am i would definitely don't want to do it it comes on to the ego as well you know five time champions and suddenly we are lying in the bottom of the table so i think that might just you know uh, just force hardik to actually play with these guys it can it can anything can happen even the high nine side if they play the youngsters maybe you, we can see a new mumbai indians uh, really? under hardik pandya uh, in the last two games uh, because it's nothing to lose for them they are, they are just playing for pride so you know anything can happen anything can happen says uh, deepu for the mumbai indians against kolkata or against the lucknow super giants at home we're done with the two two teams let's take a look into the pitch report of the eden gardens <music> It's nothing different than iconic stadium, the Eden Gardens in Kolkata. As the games are progressing in all the stadiums, we are seeing it's a bit touch slower to the air. Teams batting first, with the post 170 plus totals are able to defend it. So in this game, you all know Mumbai Indians love playing at the Eden Gardens, but it's a different ball game this time. The Kolkata Knight Riders are pretty strong. Still, if you're given the captain's hat, what would you do, Chase? Uh, yeah, definitely Chase because uh, the dew dew comes in, and also the fact that Mumbai are a batting side. They have a strong batting side till number eight. uh i would say even more lethal than kolkata uh, because kolkata most of the times they have been reliant on the openers sunil narayan and phil soldan they have been doing the job for them on most of the occasions and i just feel that a rare fa- odd failure is around the corner for these guys uh, okay. so i feel it's better that mumbai chases because anyway the bowling is weaker and it's better to you know uh, bowl first for them because if something is your weaker option you can you know just try it and you know put put it away in the first go itself and you know just give the batting is confident enough and what surya did the other night at bankhead i feel uh, he's a, he's a one man army so i just feel he can he can take the game away from kkr in a in a jiffy so i feel it's better to you know chase for mumbai okay better to chase for the mumbai indians at the eden gardens we're done with this let's take a look at the key elements the teams have learned from the previous game starting with the kolkata night riders they won it comfortably the previous game against the lucknow super giants that they owned then a fantastic opening partnership once again not for the first time we witnessed phil salt and sunil narayan they harshit rana bowled really well the other day and also exceptional fielding display some of the catches they have taken was a blinder especially the ramandeep one i mean they are just a very different unit even lethal than rajasthan royals the all the 11 or oh, very pardon all the 12 guys are performing really well even the impacts up 
a guy like Angrish, Ankrish Chakuvanshi, an under-19 player, he was you know decent enough in that World Cup, but uh, I wasn't expecting him to even feature in the 11, and he has got that license from Gautam Gambhir to you know just play play with a free mind, uh, free freedom. So yeah, I mean it's just a different 11 unit and even more lethal than Rajasthan Royals, as I said earlier. So. I mean, they just, they just uh, with the net run rate, with the wins, with the captaincy of uh, of Shreya Sayer. Uh, I mean, they are just a well loyal unit, and they are they are set for the finals. Uh, I feel it's just that uh, yep. the last hurdle, which Shreya missed out with Delhi last time around, maybe you know this is the season that uh, he might get his hands on the trophy. So yeah, I mean, this this team looks set for the finals. Okay, so we are done with this. You have summed it up pretty well. Let's go on to their opponents, which is the Mumbai Indians. They had two points in the bag against the Sunrise Hyderabad at home. Hardik Pandya was impressive, but his bowling was more than impressive. The openers once again failed. Uh, Rohit Sharma as well as Ishan Kishan. Massive concerns for that, but Surya, he announced himself in the T20 format. How often does he do that? He loves Wankade, but that's good signs for Team India as well. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, the above for first and third points are a uh, good sign Good sign for India. Uh, even though Mumbai are done, but at least, you know, they can take few learnings from it. And also the fact that uh, opener, I mean, uh, it's, con it's concerning with Rohit Sharma being the captain and he's not scoring the runs. And just before a T20 World Cup, we have seen this years and years ago. And even now, uh, the situation is quite same. So, it's important that he gets the runs and... It will, it will be a big test if he plays against Mitch Chak tomorrow. Uh, there, is no, so there, there is no rest and rotation policy now in the last two games. So, I feel it's better that Rohit gets some uh, so gets going. And yeah, it's important for India's perspective, not much for Mumbai Indians. Absolutely, not much for Mumbai Indians. As I always said, he loves batting at the Eden Gardens. It's how can he, can he really give himself a chance or will he take a break and be like, I'll play at the Wankar Stadium, I just want a day's break. Or will he give himself a chance and get his uh, game going on in the middle? We don't know. It's up to him. He's the Indian captain. He can take his own decisions. But we are done with the Mumbai Indians as well as the Kolkata Knights key learnings. Let's take a look into the top three players to watch out for. Here are the six players I've chosen. Deepu, Sunil Narayan, Mitchell Stark and Avenka Desharia for the Kolkata Knight Riders. Rohit Sharma, definitely Surya Kumar Yadav and Anuan Tusara for the Mumbai Indians. Sum it up for me, the six players. Any other player you want to choose? No, no, I'm excited for these three battles and even did an article on Rohit versus Narayan today. So, yeah, I mean, it's another big, very important battle because he has scored 140-odd runs. And okay, I, these, I'm I, sorry to interrupt, uh, Deepu, but these are the six players to watch out for. We have the battles coming up. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, Sunil Narayan, I mean, he has been the linchpin of this KKR lineup. Uh, Mitch Chak, again, he got a 4 for against these guys last time around uh, in Wankhe Day. So he'll be again hungry to go and more so the fact that the World Cup is around the corner and we know how Australians perform when a big tournament is around the corner. So no description needed for that. Surya again was uh, unstoppable and awesome. Good to see him back in form and hopefully continues it for more than a month. And yeah, I mean, uh, Venkatesh here. Venkatesh here has been a shadow of himself right now. Uh, not getting much chances. All the spotlight has been on Shreyas. Uh, Neil, uh, Phil Salt, Ramandeep, Dreyras, even a ring, guy like Rinku has been, you know, been kept on the sidelines even though he Correct. has been playing. So, yeah, I mean, uh, just shows how well they are playing and uh, how well their top order is doing. Nuan Tushar, I was really impressed and I was really excited to see him. Uh, initially, he didn't bowl really well, but now he's coming back into his group and uh, maybe a future bowler for Mumbai along with Bumrah. So, yeah, I mean, it's all six are very, uh, very exciting prospects to watch. Okay, all six of them are very important prospects to watch out for, says Deepu. We're done with the six players. Let's take a look into the top three battles in this game. Here are the three battles I have chosen. Nuan Dusara versus Sunil Narayan with the new ball. Surya Kumar Yadav versus Varun Chakravarti and Mitchell Stark versus Rohit Sharma. Here are my three battles. Deepu, any other battle you have thought of? Or is, which is the one you will definitely watch out for? Uh, I liked uh, Rohit Sharma versus uh, Sunil Narayan slash Sunil Narayan and even a Vaiba okay. Baroda. Uh, so okay. swing bowling and uh, uh, yeah, Rohit tends to struggle against swing uh, with the feet not moving and you know he has a tentative, uh, tentativeness to poke outside the off stump as well. So I feel I'll three these three are the key weapons which can you know trouble Rohit Sharma 
even though i want him to you know get back into form get another good 50 a uh, good half century or even a good turn is also you know is a is a blessing for us absolutely i feel it's important that these guys get the runs because they are more important for india's perspective and with the season done i think they should play with a free mind uh, with yeah. no baggage yeah. and you know just go with a full monty so uh, all the, all six are important and you know and also the fact that even though it's still not confirmed maybe it's it's row it's last in mumbai when the mumbai could be, can could be, be very much right like. the case as well so it's important that if if the, if this is a case yeah. then you know make these two games uh, memorable for the mumbai fans absolutely you can make that uh, at the eden gardens today we will see that we're done with the three battles as well let's take a look into the predicted playing 11 For the Kolkata Knight Riders, no surprises because I think it's an unchanged eleven. They have a lot of th- things to play for, and I I go with an unchanged eleven. What's yours, Deepu? Same for you. No changes. Yeah, I mean, no point of you know tweaking a squad which is you know winning everything uh, dominantly until and unless there is a forced injury or a change. You know they want to do or you know just try and test someone, even though it's a very uh, stupid thing to you know test someone in 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 this type of games with you know your with the qualification is almost sealed. I feel there won't be any change until unless I maybe a Nitish Rana, if he has recovered from his injury, might just start okay. back. And even though the chances look very bleak for him to you know make make a comeback, when he has done really well to cement the place, so I feel there's no point. I, of I think if 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 Nitish has to come in into the team at this moment, unfortunately, it's the youngster Ankrish Raghuvansh who has to make way. Yeah, I mean uh, that can be the only change, but I am not thinking. Uh, I mean, uh, management won't be thinking that way. We know how Gautam Gambhir is. Once he has Correct. found the set formula, he won't change it. So I, I don't see any changes coming up. No changes for the Kolkata Knight Raiders. Let's go on to the opponents, which is the Mumbai Indians. And I have a few changes when it comes to Mumbai and this side. The top six remains the same for me. Maybe a Namandir, as you rightly pointed out. Arjun Tendulkar, I think, might get a chance today in place of the some of the middle order batsmen. Nial Vadera makes way for me. No, just with Bumrah. Ankul Kambodge was good the other day, so I think these are the two changes. I bring back Gerald Kotji just to put in a little bit of experience in that pace bowling attack. What's your take? Do you think any other things uh, might come up? Do you want to go back to Bumrah in this game? What's your take? Uh, no, I'll not play Bumrah. Uh, if I'm in that dug- uh, in that dugout and and the captain as well, if I'm the dug- in the dugout and and as well as the captain, so I won't play Bumrah because I'll be no- I'll now be thinking. With the India perspective, with the tournament is done, uh, that he is against the name, so there is no point, you know, risking a Jasprit Bumrah. We did it in 2022, and we had to pay the price. So I, it's better that you know just give him that rest, that uh, time to spend, uh, you know, give some time Correct. to spend with his family back home, and you know just uh, get him recharged and refreshed for the World Cup. So Correct. yeah, I mean, the, these will these uh, it will be the same eleven. It's just that I don't want to see Tim David because he has been horrible this season. So I'll rather bring in a uh, I'll rather bring in a Deval Brevis. He has been bombing the bench. Okay. I feel he can be that uh, guy who can you know add to this. Not a bomb, but Nabi in the spinning conditions at the Eden Gardens. Uh, that could be the case, and you know they have the spin department with PC doing a great job. Uh, maybe a Shreyas Gopal can also be an addition, even though both are very similar. But that could be the case, uh, but I am more excited for uh, Deval Brevis because he hasn't got the games, or even a Romario Shepherd. We know what he did at Wankhede when Correct. he last played over there. Uh, even though this game is at uh, is this game is at the Eden Gardens, so I just feel the these guys can come in because David has a, has a has had an hasn't had any game. impact. Yeah, yeah, he didn't had an impact, and that is also the reason that Mumbai are lagging behind in the tournament. So maybe you know, a Tim David might just get the axe. Okay, so rightly pointed out, we're done with the Mumbai Indians uh, playing eleven as well. Let's move on to the most important, which is the predictions time now. Here's the predictions time. Match number sixty. It's Kolkata Knight Riders versus the Mumbai Indians at the iconic Eden Gardens. Dipu, what's your predictions? Where do you look into the percentage? I'm taking a bold call this time around. Uh, not playing on percentage. I think Mumbai. Mumbai will win. Mumbai is going to win one. this game at Eden Gardens. Yeah, I'm taking a bold decision this time around. I'm okay. taking the gamble. So yeah, I feel Mumbai might Mumbai will win this one. Uh, that that at least you know they'll return they'll return the favor. I don't see KKR winning twice. Uh, the, this is a bogey team for them, and there will okay. be uh, there will be pressure on KKR as well. With with the head to head record in favor of MI, heavily stacked in favor of MI, 23 to 9 games. So I feel Mumbai might just you know 
return the favor back and uh, this is a revenge week as well going on so absolutely yeah, with law of averages i think mumbai must spin okay so he has made a very bold call deepu says mumbai indians are favorites in this game against the kolkata knight riders at the eden gardens that sums it up very much the rightly show thank you so much deepu thank you to all the viewers who watched this video don't forget to subscribe to the fifth number press the bell icon as well the final game at the iconic eden gardens comes up mi versus the kkr knights thank you so much and bye bye